raising the minimum wage from the current rate of $7.25 an hour to $9 should be a no-brainer. It's been eroding for years. If the minimum wage had just stayed even with inflation since 1968, it would now be $10.56 an hour. Raising it to $9 is only fair. That's $18,720 a year for someone working a 40-hour work week, just above the poverty line for a family of three. And it would put more money into the hands of families that desperately need it. 15 million workers would get a pay raise, allowing them to buy more and thereby keeping others working. Besides, if workers aren't being paid enough to get out of poverty, the rest of us end up footing the bill in terms of paying for Medicaid, housing assistance, and food stamps. In other words, the rest of us make up for what their employers fail to do. Opponents say raising the minimum wage will cause employers to shed jobs. But that's baloney. Employers are not going to outsource the jobs abroad or substitute machines for them because jobs at this low level of pay are in the local personal service sector, retail, restaurant, hotel, and so on, where employers pass on any small wage hikes to customers as pennies more on their bills. States that have a minimum wage closer to $9 than the current federal minimum don't have higher rates of unemployment than do states still at the federal minimum. Opponents also say the raise would go mainly to high school kids working for extra money. Wrong. Nearly 90% would go to workers at least 20 years old. More than half who work full time. And more than a quarter who are parents. Raise the minimum wage to $9 an hour. It's good for low wage workers, it's good for the economy, and it's the decent thing to do. If you agree, let our representatives in Washington know. Sign our petition.